Let's talk a little bit about the Get to Know contest, which has been running for how many years now? Uh, well over 15, actually. It started, wow. I believe, uh, before 2000. So it's got quite a few years under its belt, and it's really starting to get underway. And what is it exactly? Yeah, so the Get to Know program, actually, overall, is, uh, is an organization that aims to get youth reconnected with nature. Over the past couple of years, many scientists, uh, education um, uh, people, I guess, um, have all realized that there's a growing disconnect between youth and the environment. Um, and it's starting to really become a problem because people are slowly realizing that it's these youth that aren't necessarily as passionate about the environment who are going to grow up and start making decisions for the world. Um, and, you know, with, with global warming where it currently sits and our political processes surrounding it, it's really important that we have uh, sustainable and um, really passionate environmentalists starting to take the lead uh, in, our, in our politics. So I think that's sort of where it goes. Obviously, you care a lot about this. As a Get to Know Program ambassador, mm -hmm. you're out there spreading the word. What do you have to do? Yeah, so myself and anybody really that's interested can become an ambassador. Uh, personally, I do a lot of organization. I help run the events. I help run and I actually MC the Unconference every year, which is really cool because it's actually out west this year in Kelowna, so I'm going to get to go out there. But anybody who wants to be an ambassador, all they have to do is help run an event. This could be you know, going for a hike with your friends. It could be getting a local community library to organize an art in nature event. Um, personally, I did something called Art in the Park. So I organized a bunch of youth from Alton, actually, up, up in Alton. And 50 youth, uh, all under the age of 14, came out to the library. We went for a hike and then came back and they were donated art supplies and they just created for about an hour and a half. So just whatever they remembered or felt. Exactly. Really just nature-inspired art is well, what they focus on. We know that having time in nature grounds us, uh -huh. right? It, it calms us, it, it slows our brain down, and, and it's, it's the de-stresses. So much good comes from just spending a little bit of time in nature, and you're right. There's a disconnect now, mm -hmm. so this is one way to re-involve our young people uh, in appreciating what goes on in nature. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The unconference. Oh, uh, prizes, because they can win stuff, right? Yes, okay. exactly. So starting May 1st and running to November 1st is something called the Get to Know International Contest. So this is open to all youth across North America. They can submit f uh, photography, videography, writing, so poetry, essays, things like that, or visual arts, paintings, drawings, sketches, whatever they want. And they can submit it online at www.gettoknow.ca. And they can win really cool prizes. Everything from cameras donated by Panasonic, video cameras, art supplies, all sorts of really cool stuff. Wow. Yeah. And our Toronto youth actually get a free day at the zoo after hours, a personal tour with the group from Toronto youth that submitted to the contest. So oh, really, really cool prizes. And that starts, the getting your entries in starts May 1st. Exactly. May 1st is when it opens. What ends May 1st is something else. So let's mm -hmm. talk about the 2016 International Unconference. Yeah, so the Unconference is actually uh, an annual event, and it is a conference, but the un part is what's really important. It's really unformal. So what we do is every year, up to 20 youth are selected from across North America, and they have to submit art proposals, actually. So it's still staying with that art theme. So youth who want to come to the conference have to submit a statement art proposal. So statement art is something that's really been seen and it's becoming sort of a trend. It's something that has a message behind it. And we're looking for a message about the environment. So for instance, last year, uh, one of uh, a, a girl who's become a close friend of mine collected things from the garbage that should have been recycled. And she turned them into a 3D globe with different animals being trapped in pieces of plastic and all sorts of these problems. So art like that. Um, and youth have to submit that by May 1st, and if they're selected, they get to go out to BC for a, for a weekend and talk to all sorts of people about why they're passionate about whatever their art piece was. You've brought some video for us to see today. Let's have a look at that yeah. now. The Young Conference is an annual event that we hold, and what we do is we invite uh, up to 12 this year, or sometimes more, students from across uh, North America, and they come and they actually present statement art pieces that they want to see make a difference in the world. I feel like this is probably one of the best ways to showcase the project that I'm working on because it reaches out to younger people and everyone is always saying young people are the future and I think in this case it really works because 
we're going to have to take care of the problems that are going to happen in the future. The blue represents the water and the green represents the land. And there are different animals on here that are affected by litter, like the fish is full of cigarette butts. And the bear is in a mason jar, so his head is stuck. And the turtle is made out of wire and tin foil, and it's stuck in a six pack rings from Pop. I think one of my hopes is that everyone, uh, we can kind of work together to, because we all have these ideas, and um, in the end, they all together, we can help each other to um, complete some of these things and to notify people about what we're doing because everybody has these amazing ideas and they need to be heard. It's meant the world to me. It's really exciting to get to tell people how passionate I am about my cause and to see other people get excited about it too is really rewarding for me. Gosh, there's just nothing bad about this. It, <laughs> it alerts people to what's going on in the environment, so mm -hmm. it gets them passionate about that. Uh, gets their brains working creatively as they come up with these wonderful art pieces mm -hmm. and builds their artistic talent at the same time. Exactly. Univers the universal language, art. It's beautiful. There you go. And love seeing the passion in their eyes. That's inspiring, mm -hmm. which is obviously why you like being involved in all exactly. this. Exactly. I love it. What do we need to know? So th that deadline is approaching fast. Exactly. May 1st is the last day to submit a proposal. So you don't have to have the art finished yet. All they have to do is submit a proposal of what they'd like to do by May 1st. If accepted, they have up until the conference, which will be held this fall in October, to actually complete that project. So they do have a lot of time, actually, but the deadline to enter is May 1st. And then after May 1st, from May 1st to November 1st, they can submit online to the Get to Know contest. So many great ways to get involved and to get to know our environment. Exactly. So go to the website, it's there. All the details you need, get to know.ca. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We're going to listen to some beautiful jazz music when we come back from Kara Matthew. Love it.